Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. Today we are going to discuss about Directive Principles of State Policy. These are enumerated in Part 4 of the Constitution from Articles 36 to 51. These are borrowed from Irish Constitution of 1937. They help in promoting social and economic democracy. Now let us see some of the features of Directive Principles of State Policy. These are enumerated in Government of India Act 1935 and they resemble instrument of instructions. They also aim at realizing the ideals of justice, liberty, equality and fraternity as outlined in our preamble. They embody the concept of welfare state and not that of police state. Also, the directive principles are non-justiciable in nature, that is, they are not legally enforceable by the courts for their violation, but they help the courts in examining and determining the constitutional validity of a law. The directive principles of state policy are broadly classified into three categories, socialistic, Gandhian and liberal intellectual. Now let us see some of the articles added by 40, 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act 1976. They are to secure opportunities for healthy development of children that is article 39 to promote equal justice and to provide free legal aid to the poor that is article 39a to take steps to secure the participation of workers in the management of industries that is article 43a and last one to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard forest and wildlife that is article 48a now let us see some other, some other amendments also. The 44th Amendment Act of 1978 added one more directive principle which requires the state to minimize equal inequalities in income, status, facilities and opportunities that is Article 38. Again, the 86th Amendment Act of 2002 changed the subject matter of Article 45 and made elementary education a fundamental right under Article 21a. This requires the state to provide early childhood care and education for all children until they, com until they complete the age of 6 years. The 97th Amendment Act of 2011 added a new directive principle relating to cooperative societies. It requires the state to promote voluntary formation, autonomous functioning, democratic control and professional management of cooperative societies. Now let us see with a previous year question. Which principle among the following was added to DPSP by 42nd Amendment Act? A. Equal pay for equal work for both men and women. B. Participation of workers in management of industries. C. Right to work, education and public assistance. D. Securing living, living wage and human conditions of work to workers. As we discussed earlier, the answer is B. Participation of workers in management of industries that is article 43a thank you